Look at my little pot of gold right there. Hello my lovely vapies. Welcome back. Today's video is another vape vlog. All right, guys, today we're doing a vape vlog. We got a lot to get through, but not as much as usual. But I want to kick off this vape vlog with a very special shout out and a very special thank you to Chris Sanders or Saunders. Not sure if you do the eh or the uh <laughs> for your name, but thank you so much for this mint green knee box. Isn't it amazing? I have been wanting one. I had mentioned it in last week's vape vlog that I've been wanting one, but didn't really know where to get it because like the ch places where I usually shop online weren't selling it and I'm really picky when I do online shopping and really cautious about like where I give my credit card information to. So I was just like on the fence about, I was like gonna wait until like hopefully one of my favorite shops had it in stock and then I was gonna buy it but Chris bought this and sent it to me and oh my god I'm just like so happy like this is the nicest thing that has ever happened to me like I you guys know how much I love the new box and I had to get this green color and it would fit perfectly with my St. Patrick's Day background but I can't I'm not putting it up there because I want to use it and I love it and something I wanted to mention about this, now I don't know if it's just with this new uh, mint green one or if they're doing that with all of the new knee box kits, but one, they included a coin that you can use to take the tank bottom off or the battery cap off. Two, the battery cap is really easy to put in and out now, whereas the my blue one, you have to press and spin to get the battery cap on, and I was always like, cross threading and misthreading it and it was just so annoying this one is so easy you don't have to do that and three this one comes with the new Kanger Tech coils in it and I have not had any leaking with this one but it's legit comes in this box legit with the authenticity code on the back I absolutely love it so thanks again so so much to Chris for sending this to me and thank you to Karen who also thought about me when purchasing a green knee box it's really nice of you guys to do that for me since I'm just not used to it since I'm the one that's always giving away vape stuff yeah, I've actually never won a vape giveaway myself because when I was new to vaping and everything I entered a lot of vaping giveaways and I never won anything so this was like really special to me especially because it's a beautiful green knee box. But anyways, let's kick off this vape vlog the only way I know how with my e-liquid of the week and this was hands down so easy to pick. My e-liquid of the week goes to Counterculture e-liquid by Baker White. This is the pierced Ooh, this is the pierced flavor and this is just the little sampler bottle that they sent me um, and it's empty it's gone and then runner up to that would be the fueled which is just the regular vanilla custard I don't know if you guys can see but that one's almost gone too because they're just the little sampler bottles that's why I was like oh dude I gotta do a giveaway because I wish I <laughs> wasn't doing a giveaway so I could have another bottle of this but I'm actually giving away a 30 milliliter bottle of this, 30 milliliter bottle of this, and a 30 milliliter bottle of the third flavor. If you guys saw my counterculture e-liquid video on Thursday, then I was doing a quick giveaway on that video with a couple different uh, counterculture swag items. So I'll be announcing that winner today. And actually, Baker White is doing a massive March Madness sale where you can get all 30 milliliter bottles are $10 only. You can buy three, get two free. So you can get any flavors from any of their lines they have a couple different lines including counterculture and you get two free and orders over $60 are free shipping I did a giveaway last vape vlog five winners for the UL Raphael tank for here Twitter Instagram and Facebook and tumblr so there is a total of five winners I've got them all packaged up ready to go I thought because I'd been packaging up my 75,000 subscriber giveaway bundles ahead of time so I would just all I'd have to do is write who they go to and ship them off so I thought I'd do that with these ones not realizing that I put them in you know the pouches and they still need to be written on so <laughs> that's gonna be quite difficult like I was like oh I can get ahead of the game and do that with these ones and then kind of like kicked myself in the butt with that because now I have to like go over and write over the bump like it's gonna be awesome so if you were one of the Raphael winners my handwriting is probably gonna be really bad on these packages the giveaway, the local vape shop giveaway that I did for all of my old slightly used vape gear was a super huge success. I recorded the whole thing and I can't decide if I want to put that in a vape vlog in the next coming week 
or do a video of its own on Saturday this week. So you guys let me know if you want me to do a video of its own just for the local vape shop giveaway because there's a lot of footage or just like squeak it in in a vape vlog like I usually do with like my little vlog times which I will be doing one for this video later on. And I actually don't have any questions or shout outs for new vapors saved for this week. I'm so surprised. Usually I get a ton of different like questions like random questions vape related or non vape related and I get a bunch of shout outs people saying oh I'm you know I'm seven weeks smoke free. I didn't I didn't have any saved for this week so I guess we're going to skip that part. The only shout out I had was for Chris and Karen. So since I don't have any questions or shout outs I figured for this little segment I'd squeeze in like a sneak peek for next week I am so excited I'd actually admittedly just got this device and usually they have to wait in the queue but since I'm so eager to try this device I decided to move it up in my queue for tomorrow oh look what I got it is the Aspire Plato is it Plato or Plato Plato you guys tell me, is it play toe with a T or play dough? Because I've heard it say said both ways, but this is Aspire's all-in-one, and I am so stoked because I love my knee box all-in-one, and so I really want to try this out, and it's a beautiful color. You'll have to wait and see. This actually comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors, and I got a beautiful color that I'm really stoked to show you guys, and hopefully it works good. I think this comes with the Cleto co coils, which I never tried the Aspire Cleto, and I didn't hear, I heard a lot of bad things about it, and a few good things about it, so I heard more negative things about the Cleto tank, but, you know, I never tried it for myself to make that opinion on my own, but it can also take, I believe, the uh, Nautilus coils or something, because it can do a mouth to lung as well, so I'm super excited to check this out, and I know it's a little late, but better late than never, guys, the Arctic V8 Mini. I'm super excited to try this. I really liked the Arctic when it came out, and this is the Arctic V8 Mini, and what is that? I think this one is the one that has, like, eight crazy coils in it or something like that, or, like, four. Like, I don't know. I remember, like, watching Indoor Smoker's video of this, and the coils in there, and trying it from his, at his house, were insane, so I'm super excited to look at it myself. Because it comes with all of these different coils. We have tiger coils, we have hive coils, and snake coils, so wow. And these look really cool. Like, I'm so glad they came pre-made because I could never make a coil like this. And guess who made new flavors? Ooh. So I will be taking a look at some of the new flavors they made as a part three. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing part three. The only other company I've ever done multiple part reviews for, I did a four part video for um, Demand Vapes uh, 12 Vapor and that was the 12 astrological symbols so I kind of, I really wanted to do a four part to it and you know do three which each sign water, air, fire, earth because I wanted to get through all the flavors because they were so cool even though I didn't fall in love, absolute in love with those flavors like I did this. This one I'm doing a part three because not only do I love the flavors but you guys have been asking for it so it's coming up this week. And I think now's a good time to go into the vlog footage I did a few weeks ago so it's always, it's all my vlog footage is always a few weeks old. This is when I just, I think I just had an, a day of errands to do and had a friend come over and so it's just like a normal day in the life of Tia and here you guys go. Hey guys, so check out my face demons. It's Tuesday the 16th and I'm about to head out and mail out the third prize package winner because yesterday was um, President's Day so it wasn't open otherwise I would have mailed it out then. I got a bunch of errands to run. I gotta go renew my tabs. I gotta go have a massage. I am feeling so sick this morning. Not so sick but my throat hurts, my sinuses are all clogged up, I have a runny nose, and my throat is like getting sore as I wake, like the longer I'm awake, so thank God I had today's video pre-recorded yesterday, so, but I guess you usually, you won't see this for a couple weeks, so by the time it's irrelevant, but anyways, I thought I'd take you guys along with me, I just had my breakfast, so I'm gonna go into town now and try to get all this stuff done before my massage at 3. And yeah, Ugh. I have no energy, I don't feel good, but I gotta get this stuff done. So, oh my god, you guys, I can't remember the last time I drove my car, I think it was Friday, maybe, I'm not sure, but I left my lights on the whole time, 
<laughs> thank God I have a Subaru and this one that they turn the light they, the lights turn off automatically even if you accidentally leave them on on the switch in the car because I would be so fucking screwed right now my car would be completely dead because it's been days since I've had to go anywhere and it's off it's always fucking off because I'm trying to save the battery and for those that ask the reason I always have my gloves half off in the car only because I have to like touch my phone screen to record and vlog for you guys and um I'm gonna get those gloves my coat is so soft and comfy <laughs> I don't feel good I'm gonna get those gloves that you can actually wear and touch your phone screen with I didn't know those existed until New Year's so I've known they existed for a while I just haven't gotten them it's a really really nice day roads are clear I was told so I guess we'll get this day of errands underway my Einstein hairs make an appearance as usual all right let's go guys okay let's check my mailbox cuz I didn't check it yesterday oh wait I'm an idiot here I am all the way walking to my mailbox and yesterday was a uh, President's Day, so there's no mail. And whenever I leave my car and it's running, I always put the e-brake on. But last time I did this, I forgot to take the e-brake off. <laughs> so I probably drove about a mile with my e-brake on. And yeah. Oof, ugly close up. Jesus. Mm, my face hates me right now. I always, always break out during that time of the month, you know. Sucks. I'm just here filling up my car with some gas because I need some gas to go. And I have like a quarter tank, but I'm really paranoid about driving all around fucking Narnia with a quarter tank. <laughs> I always fill up my, my car when it gets to a quarter tank just because I never want to be that person that runs out of gas. Like, I'm so paranoid about it. And I'm going to go into the store over there and pick up some lunch. I also called in a prescription for my baby prevention medicine. <laughs> And then I'll be to the post office to mail out the prize. Gonna see my grandma. Gonna go to the bank. Gonna see my mom. Ooh, I'm gonna get a spaghetti squash in here. Cause I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight, but I'm gonna use spaghetti squash. Does anybody else do that? Cause I wanna try that instead of noodles since noodles are like really high in carbs and I only like to have like pasta, actual pasta like once a week. So yeah. Gosh darn it, my prescription was not ready. They need about a half an hour and I'm not gonna wait around here for half an hour. So I'm gonna go do my errands in town and then come back and check and see if it's ready. But I got more Monopoly tickets, so excited. Hope I win something. Feeling lucky. I'm done at the post office. I got a couple packages of vape mail. Something looks like, one of them looks like I'm really excited for it. I'm not sure if it's exactly what I'm expecting, but I really have to pee, so I'm heading to my grandma's house now. Ooh. Oh boy. Anyways, my grandma wasn't home, so it's on to the bizank to put some money in my bank and and then what? Go see my mom. Yay! At the bank. At the bank, 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 bank. Hmm. I'm gonna have my lunch with my mama. My friends, yeah! I'm so shy. I am, I need it. <laughs> I didn't see her car. I didn't think she was here, but she is. So I'm gonna have my salad and my fruits. All right, I'm back at the store and hopefully my prescription's ready. And I'm gonna grab a spaghetti squash because I forgot that earlier. And then I'm gonna go get my tabs renewed for my car because taxes for everything. Got my squash, got my prescription, and more Monopoly tickets. All right, I got my tabs. Now on to my massage, and I really have to pee in that place. The auto licensing place did not look like they had a bathroom. Let's go. All right, I just parked, and I have to walk like a million miles because I have to park like a million miles away. Parking is always really full. So excited for my massage though. <sighs> Just got out of my massage, feeling so good. Still feeling sicky though, ready to go home and lay down. Actually, I have a friend coming over who's going to take as much e-liquid as they want from my stash of e-liquid, so that'll be fun. But they don't get to stay long. Like I said, I don't feel that good. Definitely feeling better though. Turns out my massage therapist is 
the mom of somebody I went to high school with. I haven't seen them since high school, but crazy small freaking world. Ooh, okay, I'm home now. Ugh, it is like 4.40 and I'm home from my massage, busy, busy day. I'm gonna wait for my friend to get here. Look, that massage like made my makeup run and I was barely wearing any. I guess I could open these two packages I got of vape mail from the P.O. box. I just like, ugh. <laughs> I could use a nap, but I am not a day napper whatsoever. So, ooh, oh, 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 is my phone not going to stay? Guys, it doesn't want to stay. Really? Look like that. Hmm? That's as good as it's going to get. So I guess if you want to watch this part, you can continue to watch. It's just two packages, so. And then I'm gonna stick my Monopoly tabs on my, on my Monopoly board. Let's see, this, I don't know what it could be. Ooh, oh, oops. Almost, oh, it is this package, uh-oh. I might have broken e-liquid oh no it's just oh god it smells freaking oh my god what is this this is like a lemon oh it's this thing it stinks custard drop lemon custard oh why does it smell so bad i was like tripping for a second i was like what am i smelling did I break e-liquid? No, it's just that thing. Looks like I got some e-liquid and a pair of sunglasses from Volcano. This is Custard Drop and it's supposed to be Lemon Custard. Wow, it smells strong. The bottle doesn't actually smell strong. This thing, fucking whatever it is, it reeks. My nose is very sensitive right now, which is weird because I'm sick. And this package. What shall it be? Well, it looks like some coils for the coral tank. I already think I already have this. Oh, this is the coral mini. Ooh, it comes in pretty colors. Ooh, it comes in pink. So we got, uh, ooh, excuse the hiccups. We got a pink one. Yeah. We got a, ooh, a cool green one. Yas. The black one. Yas. And what is the fourth color? Stainless steel. Boo. <laughs> Too normal. No, just kidding. Looks like I'll be keeping the pink one for myself. Like, uh, no surprise there. And giveaway for all the rest. Okay, thanks guys. I'm gonna like chill now that I'm home and wait for my friend to get here. So thanks for following me around. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Hope my face demons didn't scare you too much. Like that's all I can see when I'm recording cause like I'm recording my phone so I can see myself and all I can see is my freaking pimples. Isn't it great being a human? <gasps> no. Hey guys, it is still what one day is it actually the 16th yeah where i'm not just had my massage and i told you guys i was gonna have a friend come over and check out my e-liquid here she is this is veronica hi we were best friends in high school and oh my god she moved away for a long time had babies and then came back and now she vapes and she's not smoking so we're actually gonna do like a real video soon right yes yes, yes. and yes, yes. so we will get to talk and talk about vaping and like you guys have to see what she has been vaping on Hooked her up with a better setup, upgraded her a little bit, you know, get her used to the sub-ohm life. <laughs> but yeah, so she's got a box of e-liquid over here that she's taking all to herself because I don't need all of it. I have too much of it, you guys know that, way too much. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and then I'm gonna Netflix and chill for the rest of the night. <laughs> Minus the chill, because I'm not feeling good. Alright, Veronica has been sent home with all the e-liquid she could ever vape in the world. I'm waiting for this e-liquid video to go up and then I'm just gonna Netflix it and fall asleep because I was like, well, I'm feeling better. I took some emergency, so hopefully I'll feel a lot better in the morning, but I feel like I'm gonna have another busy day tomorrow and I'm just not feeling it, so. 
Thanks for following me around. If you enjoyed, make sure to comment below and let me know that you guys like seeing what I do. Even when I'm like literally so gross. Like I'm feeling so gross. Like my hair is so gross. My face is hating me right now. I'm so tired and not feeling good, but that's how much I love you guys. This is half the heart, so you make the other half right now. Make a heart together. All right, thanks for watching. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I super love vlogging. I'm getting more used to it now in public because sometimes it's kind of like awkward. Like I'm walking around talking to my camera and people are like, she cray. But I actually, I'm really liking it and I, I want to continue to do it. I have a second channel where I've thought about doing the vlog stuff and doing a lot more over there, but it's just, it's kind of hard to manage two channels, so that, that channel's kind of neglected, but I do randomly sometimes put up videos over there, so if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that YouTube channel. It'll be linked below, as all of my other social media are always. So I filmed picking the random winner for the... Raphael Tank here on YouTube and I filmed picking the random winner for the counterculture e-liquid line as well And I will put those in after I announce the winners I'm gonna announce the winners for the Raphael and then I'll also be announcing the Facebook Twitter Tumblr and Instagram winners on those social media sites as well But I'm also just gonna do a quick announcement here as well because I said I would I don't know why cuz like if you're entering on Facebook You're obviously you're not watching this video or maybe you are but anyways So let's announce the winner for the giveaway here All you had to do was comment below where you're from and what atomizer you are using currently and uh, likes uh, subscribe share all that good stuff so let's check it out and the winner is Chris H? I so don't know how to pronounce it. It's E-I-C-H. Chris H? I hope, I hope I'm close to pronouncing your name. But you are the winner of the UL Raphael Tank. Hopefully you're watching this video. And I'm going to be replying to your original comment on the giveaway video. That way, because YouTube's inbox system is like really whack right now and people are having a hard time connecting with me through there. So I'll be replying to there and we can just discuss how you're going to prove that you're 18 or older because entering my giveaways, anybody has to be, if you're a winner, you have to be able to prove that you're 18 or older. And most people just send me a picture of their face holding their ID and that works just fine. So if that's what you want to do, Chris, that will be just fine. But his comment reads, my current setup is a Kanger Knee Box Holla and a K-Box Mini with a Sub Tank Mini. I know it's two different setups, but I bounce between the two all day. I know, I bounce between my two knee boxes. <laughs> I was bouncing between my knee box and my Cool Fire 4 Plus, but now I have two knee boxes. And I know I said when I got another knee box, I'd be putting my second favorite flavor in there, but I just couldn't help myself, and so they're both filled with Pounded by Bonsai Paper right now. Right, so we're going to pick the winner for the Raphael Tank by UL from YouTube, and then pick the winner for the Counterculture e-liquid line from the other video I did on Thursday and then I'll also announce be announcing the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr winners on those platforms. That is not a comment. Like that is not some of that person's not trying to enter, so Again. So thank you so much for watching my vids, Chris, and congratulations, you are the winner of the UL Raphael Tank, and if you get a hold of me tonight and we just correlate right now, I can get that sent out to you as early as tomorrow. I love to announce these winners, and it's been like this through my 75,000 subscriber celebration giveaway. I announced the winners Sunday night, and then by Monday midday, I've gotten all the information I needed and been able to send them out right away, and I love doing it like that because I like having Monday be my, like, runaround errand day. So really quickly, I will announce the other winners of the other social media platforms for the Raphael tank but I'll be, I'll be posting there on each of those social medias that way if you're waiting to see if you won over there you won't miss it and the winner on Facebook is Ariel Rankin congratulations Ariel I'll see you over on Facebook the Twitter winner is Gary Perkins I'll see you over on Twitter the winner on Instagram is proud underscore mama underscore 2013 I'll see you over on Instagram girl and the tumblr winner is tales of happiness and despair I'll see you over on tumblr Oh, I love this. I literally cried tears of happiness when I got this. And I got this on Friday, which was a really hard day for me. And I don't want to talk about it <laughs> again. But Friday sucked. And this was literally a shining little light on my horrible, sad Friday. So if this was like, I was already like crying tears of sadness. And then I was just like so emotional already that I was just like 
crying tears of joy because I got this and it's so beautiful. Okay, so now it's time to announce the winner of the Counterculture e-liquid line slash swag bag. The winner is, and I recorded it, so I'll show you guys how I picked the winner. So I'll show you guys the picking of the winner after I read the winning comment, but the winner is Andrew Ruth. I just wanted to say that I love all of your reviews you do here on this channel. I am still learning lots of new things about vaping and you've been a great help. I've found that I am a big fan of vanilla and custard vapes, so I I feel like Fueled would be the best. Fueled is so good if you like a plain vanilla. I'll be sharing this video on my Tumblr account. Well, congratulations, Andrew Ruth. You are the winner of the Counterculture e-liquid line. So I really hope you're watching this video because it's the only place that the winner is going to be announced. And if you are, I'm going to be replying to this comment, this winning comment, and we can discuss how you're going to prove you are 18 or older. Like I said earlier, Facebook message with your face next to your ID works just fine. As long as you're 18 or older, you can claim your prize. And I can have it sent out as early as tomorrow if I hear from you tonight or early morning tomorrow. Now we're going to pick a winner from the counterculture giveaway for the e-liquid. Load comments. There was even less comments in this giveaway. And load the comments. That is not a winning entry. Sorry. You did not follow the rules. This person did, however. So I did my big 75,000 subscriber giveaway and we're already at 82,000. I did that one because I wanted to celebrate with you guys because the last time I did a big giveaway was at 50,000 and two I needed to clean out my giveaway box because it was just so full that I couldn't even shut it. I couldn't add any more to it and even though I did six huge giveaway bundles the giveaway box is now full yet again. I can't close it like I can't put any more in it and I can't close it so it's just like stacking up out of the top of it I'm gonna need to get like a bigger giveaway box but since it's still overflowing and since I'm just having so much fun doing these giveaways and people are participating right and people are um, who they say they are like when I'm like show me that you're 18 or older people are able to do it people are getting their packages real quick and I just I love giving away stuff and I just I don't, I don't have the room for the extra stuff I figured we could do one more giveaway over here now I did do the Raphael tanks all over my social media which is that's kind of harder to get everyone because we have to get the information over there over there, over there so I'm just going to do another little giveaway here on YouTube and and just here not on my social medias because that one's kind of like a little bit more stressful to do it that way I'm just going to have a multiple winners here so listen up so a week or two ago I reviewed the Crixis this is a ceramic tank by Horizon Tech and I really like it because I'm really into the ceramic tanks I literally vape my Target Vapresso and the Gemini those are my favorite ones right now this would probably be a second runner-up but I haven't used it long enough to like make the final decision so I'm going to be giving away this Crixis in black this Crixis and these two Crixises in the same colors. So I'm going to give away four of these on my YouTube channel right now. All you have to do is be a subscriber, of course, because this is the only place that the winners are announced. And if you're not a subscriber, then you're going to miss out on the announcement video. Share this video anywhere on social media. Give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below if you have tried a ceramic tank, what you thought about it, or if you haven't tried one, are you wanting to try it? Because these are ceramic and they are re-wickable so they, you can change out the cotton on them. And I think that's really neat. I think that's the one thing that I like about this and like the Dolphin more than the Vape Wrestle ones because they aren't re-wickable. The Gemini one might be. I haven't actually checked into that. Maybe it's not. The Target Vape Wrestle one isn't. So that's what I really like about these is they're re-wickable and they come with extra little pieces of wick. So there will be four winners announced next Sunday. Again, all you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel, share this anywhere on social media, this video, comment down below where you're from and what you think about ceramic tanks if you've used them or if you haven't, if you want to, just let me know what you think about this new ceramic tanks and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm literally having so much fun doing these giveaways, giving back to you guys. It just feels so good and it makes, it, I just feel like because there's so many people I hear from daily that are like, oh, I can't afford this setup or oh, my setup was stolen or I need to upgrade and I'm just being able to be a part of helping somebody stay on the vaping journey is what makes doing these giveaways super worth it. So now I want to do my little spotlight e-liquid section where I like to take one flavor that a company sends me and spotlight it here in the vape vlogs versus making a whole video dedicated to one flavor because it would only be like two minutes 
minutes long and I could be doing a full actually full length video instead of just one flavor so the flavor we are looking at today oh I'm so excited because I tried their first flavor I believe it was the first flavor they came up with which was the I love donuts flavor and it's a blueberry glazed donut and I don't even like blueberry vapes but that one was super good this is called I love cookies and so the I love donuts one came in like a donut looking box and the I love cookies comes in an oven looking box isn't this a adorable oh my goodness I love it and it has the vaping facts on the back again I love when they include that so it's so cute and here it has how it opens it just <laughs> opens like a little oven it's so cute and look here is the bottle I freaking love it so I've heard that this is a multitude of different cookie flavors mixed together which I think is kind of odd but I mean I do love cookies so Mmm. Oh, wow. It is. Ooh. What? I do. I smell like snickerdoodle. I smell chocolate. Mmm. Smells so good. So I'm going to be trying it out on my Troll RDA on my MVP version 3 Pro. I really like testing my e-liquids out on this RDA. I have been completely convinced of the flavor is so much better. But if you don't know how to build or don't want to build coils, you can always use this little 510 dripping atomizer. I used to use them all the time. You just put a couple drops of the e-liquid in there and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. I would still use these. All right, here we go with the I Love Cookies. Mmm. Oh, I'm getting a lot of caramel and like strawberry jelly. Mmm. Maybe like a little hint of chocolate. Okay. Maybe it's because I'm not partial to blueberry vapes, but I think I love this I Love Cookies flavor better than their I Love Donuts flavor. I'm getting sort of like a creamy sugar cookie vibe too. It's like a bunch of different types of cookies all mixed in one is what I am tasting and it is delicious it's like sugar comatose without the actual sugar comatose mmm oh this has to go in my knee box oh my god I, <laughs> I got a little bit on my lip and it tastes so good Ooh, if you have tried I love cookies let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it because it is so freaking good and I will leave a link below to where you can check it out if you're interested in it for yourself but that is all we have for today's vape vlog I hope you guys enjoyed I have a lot of fun I love doing vape vlogs because I don't actually have to like worry about making a mistake like when I'm doing reviews and stuff I can just sit here and chat with you guys and it is so much fun so <laughs> if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews four or five new reviews coming this week definitely five four de definitely four maybe five and then maybe even like a special saturday video if you guys decide you want to see the giveaway video as its own video or just like plopped in here as a vlog footage but that's like there's a lot of footage so I don't know you guys decide you're the viewers you you get to see what you want to see on this channel check the description box below for important links like where to get the e-liquid of the week or where to get the e-liquid I just tried or where to get the knee bogs or the Crixis anything that I showed in here vaping related I'll probably have a link below for it you can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram Twitter or Facebook I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like so if you want to see more of me you can check that out all those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. I am too excited for The Walking Dead. My camera does not want to focus after I blow vape in its face. Who's excited for The Walking Dead? Hashtag no spoilers.